All right, I'll start with you, Ellie. You know, first championship, uh, program history. What's this moment like? What does this mean to you? Uh, it feels like like unbelievable. It feels really good. Uh, we've been working so hard and finally got here. It's crazy. Yeah, it's surreal. Yeah, it's been it's been four years that our program has been like almost like we've been coming in as like a high place. So almost every year they were like kind of projected to win, and it's finally we just kind of took it out. And, uh, it's surreal, honestly. What do you guys, you know, take from the being in the title game two years ago? What did you learn from that that you use today? We'll start with you, Ali. Um, well, we learned about like the how big like the, the court is and like how it feels and everything. And we just want to come back harder because we just want that to happen again. So yeah, like that's what we learned. Yeah. Ellie, what do you think about the the win today? Like, what did you take from that? Because like you know, it's districts so like when we came in as freshmen and then sophomore year we finally got here no one knew what to expect and so then we, we got here we didn't know what to expect we kind of let the nerds get to us so as like returners we were able to kind of lead our team through it like it's going to be different it's, it's not going to sound very loud out there because it's just such a big building you know you're going to come in the back way we were just able to show them like what it's going to be like and I feel like the leadership just from the people from the us and our third returner Julie was really nice to have you know, Ellie, how much did, did it weigh on you guys? You know, I don't know if I want to call underachieving, but you, like you said, you guys were kind of picked favorite and you guys fell. Did that kind of weigh on you guys? You know, losing in the first round last year, the state title, was, was that hard for you guys? Or? Yeah, it was kind of tough and um, it really brought us down, but we learned to like, um, that we wanted to work harder and we wanted to get it like next year. What about you, Lindsay? I mean, what was that yeah. like those last few years, you know? Yeah, I mean, that was like the biggest conversation coming into this, like, we had to almost like tell the team like no more talking about last year just because it was like a constant conversation like last year we were dropped off and we were the first place and like it was just it's so hard and, but this year we actually came in third and so it kind of felt like almost pressure relieving knowing like oh we can come and make a name for ourselves instead of like feeling like we have to prove something. Right, take me through, uh, has Ellie said anything yet? Well, Ellie, just uh, kind of take me through the, the, the final 10 minutes of the game. You guys, you know, find yourselves trailing by eight. You know, they had just made three straight three-pointers. It looked like it was slipping away from you. How do you guys kind of pull together and, and come back and just not let that get get to you guys? Yeah, um, we kept, um, like, huddling, like, like tell your team, like, we got this, we got to keep pushing and don't let, like, all the threes that they're making to get to us. And we kept, like, reminding ourselves, like, Six more minutes, keep pushing. Six, keep more, keep pushing for like three more minutes, and just keep pushing all the way through. I mean, Lindsay, you came back with a couple big buckets there. What was kind of going through your mind? Because you kind of got that rally started. What was going through your mind? Well, honestly, like, it comes from the team. Like, it comes from the bench. Like, Ellie came out to me. She's like, I think I miss a layup. And she's like, dude, take those every time. And, like, the encouragement of just, like, knowing that they won't be mad at me for a failure or anything. And I was able to go. And then Ellie came out and hit some important, like, she had a three. And then, so then that pushed us up. And just, like, the team environment, knowing that we can rely on each other, which is honestly so helpful. How much was getting that game tied going into the fourth quarter? How much of a momentum was that? Well, honestly, like seeing that, like we could come back after being down eight, like we knew that they could, we could take the punch that they threw and give it right back. So that was just an accomplishment in itself. Like, like we're not gonna let this slip away from us. We're gonna keep fighting, and then it would just because usually these big games, we'll, the nerves will get to you, and you'll just keep going down. So to see that we can come back after falling, like losing our lead and getting down, was just an accomplishment in itself. Ellie, you lose to Melba going in uh, at the district championship. Was that the motivation you needed? Like, was that a loss you feel like really kind of set the stage for you guys? Yeah, it, yeah, it really motivated us. And um, like, if we won against Melba, it probably would have like made us feel like um, invincible going into state and so then we wouldn't probably wouldn't have like have fought as hard as we did going into it so I think it helped a lot yeah and like we had a reface mode with that second round and that was just state like we came out we were, we knew that like we had it in us to beat them and so honestly it was just it was just started to fire under us you know Ellie you got to share the court with your sister Hadley I guess I think you gave her an assist and she kind of pointed to you what was yeah. that moment kind of like you know yeah, it feels I don't know it feels really good like we like we like to like just give like positive touches or like point to each other and it really like brings our like chemistry together and like it really is uplifting and what's it like to play with Lindsay you guys are kind of the, you know the seniors best yeah. friends what's yeah. what's this kind of like for you guys to share in the dynamic you guys have yeah I, I love playing with Lindsay we've been playing forever wow. and we like we read each other really well now and like and it's just so fun so yeah.
since sixth, uh, seventh grade, yeah, seventh grade, we were we've been on the top team together. Freshman year, we made varsity together, and it's just been like it just felt like it's been like me and Ellie against everything, you know. Just remember, Julie, was she, she was on the team two years ago, right? Yes. Was she a starter as well? Or was she... Julie did not start sophomore year, but she was a huge part of it. Like she, she can't. She always would come in and make big buckets, and like she was always a, like a, a really good six man. Yeah, that year. How much did you guys kind of you know rally for her today? You know, not being able to have her on the court for most of the game. Honestly, it was really hard. Like it's just hard having a team down. You know, we're a whole body together, and so having a part down was just. It just hurt, and we knew like we were gonna miss that, miss her shots. So me and Ellie, we like we did, like we knew that that shooting was gonna be down. So we were like, we have to keep going, we have to keep shooting, we have to like make those missing points up. So. Yeah. All right, congratulations, guys. Thank you. Yeah.